discuss about the relation between radius of curvature and focal length of concave mirror. <coughs> so the headline relation between radius of curvature radius of radius of curvature is represented as capital R <coughs> and focal length that is small f and that we will discuss for concave mirror for concave mirror this is the topic today we will discuss of the chapter ray optics of class 12 physics please move down the headline relation between radius of curvature r and focal length <coughs> small f of concave mirror you know what is radius of curvature and what is focal length in the previous class i have told you briefly about radius of curvature and focal length so today we will discuss how we can set up the relation between r and f so for these things i will consider a concave mirror if i consider a concave mirror like that like that this is the concave mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inward <coughs> and here is the principal axis of the concave mirror that will be your pole of the mirror that is principal focus and this is your <coughs> center of the curvature if i consider a ray is coming parallel to principal axis and after reflection this ray will pass through the principal focus <coughs> this ray coming parallel to principal axis after reflection it will pass through the principal axis if i draw a line here in the center of curvature this will be the normal in this case and this will be angle of incidence this will be angle of reflection you know this thing let us consider this is somewhere a and this is b <coughs> now from the diagram you can write from the diagram first thing from the diagram we can find that angle i is equal to angle r that is angle i is equal to angle r this is very clear this is by the law of reflection this is by the law of reflection <coughs> remember this to angle i is equal to angle r by the law of reflection second point if this angle is i this angle is also going to be angle i because <coughs> angle i is equal to angle i they are going to be equal because they are alternate interior angle alternate interior angle this is this angle i is equal to this angle i uh, because they are alternate interior angle now we can see a triangle is forming here triangle b c f in triangle in triangle b c f this is the triangle b c f in triangle b c f again i can write that angle I is equal to angle R angle I is equal to angle R it is very fortunate because this angle I is equal to this angle I this angle I is equal to this angle R so no doubt angle I will be equal to angle R in a triangle BCF if angle I is equal to angle R in triangle BCF 
then one more thing I can write FB is equal to FB is equal to CF this is number one why why this FB equal to CF because they are the sides they are the side opposite to equal angle opposite to equal angle number this angle i and this angle r is equal that means these are two equal angle now fb is the side which are opposite to angle i cf is the side which is opposite to angle r so sides opposite to angle uh, sides opposite to equal angle okay that is why fb is equal to cf but first thing that this angle and this angle should be equal if this angle this angle are equal then only fb and cf side will be equal okay this point is very important you might sides opposite to equal angle that is the property of triangle you have started only with the plus change therefore triangle bcf is m therefore triangle bcf is m isosceles triangle or not since fb side and cf side of bcf is equal that is why triangle bcf will be isosceles triangle fine this point is also very important now one thing if i consider that the aperture of this mirror what is the aperture of the mirror the distance from the here to here this this distance this distance will be the aperture of this particular mirror so if i consider aperture of the mirror is too small so i'll write for small aperture of the mirror for small aperture of the mirror if i consider that aperture of the mirror is too small then this point b will be too close to point p point point b will be too close to point p that is very essential point you should remember or you should understand if you consider this aperture of this mirror is very small then this point b will be too close to point p so i have written for small aperture of the mirror point b will be too close to point p now if this b point is too close to point p i can write i can write fb is equal to fp fb is equal to fp i can write and this is suppose number 2 okay why fb is equal to fp fb is equal to fp is not simply because but there should be a reason this is for small aperture fb is equal to fp okay now from 1 and 2 i am writing this side from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 equation uh, which is one equation this is number one equation this is number two equation from one equation and two equation we find fp and b will be go away so cf is equal to fp so i can write fp is equal to cf let us consider this is number three cf is equal to fp or fp is equal to cf this is from both one and now, as I have told you that all the distances in case of a spherical mirror are measured from P. So here you can see PC. PC can be classified as FP plus CF. Okay. Now, now you see this is PC. Now, PC is equal to FP plus FP plus CF. FP plus CF I can write. This is implies 
PC is equal to FP plus what is the CF? This CF distance we don't know what is the CF is. So in the place of CF I put FP. So since CF is equal to FP, this is equal to PC is equal to twice of FP. Okay. Now what is PC here? I'm going to recommend for you this is PC. This is PC. And this is your FP. So what is PC here? PC is going to be radius of curvature. And FP is going to be your focal length for this mirror. As it is concave mirror, so I will be minus and minus of twice F. Okay? We know that radius of curvature, focal length, always be minus negative in case of concave mirror. So R is equal to twice F or F is, is equal to R by 2. This is the relation between radius of curvature and focal length for concave mirror. So in next classes, we will discuss for convex mirror. This is all about the relation between radius of curvature and focal length for concave mirror. You go home practice. It's going to be easy one for you. Thank you.